One of President Trump's themes is that he is doing what he said he would do, and that apparently includes a repeated and sustained attempt to discredit media stories about him. This comes at a time when the White House is expected to release this coming week a new version of the president's immigration travel ban, just as a report from inside the government appears to undercut the president's plan. A fired up President Trump stirred a conservative audience Friday defending his controversial travel ban. We are going to keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. But a three page draft document from the Department of Homeland Security, the very agency responsible for enforcing President Trump's travel ban, appeared to undercut the rationale behind the restrictions targeting seven mostly Muslim countries, stating citizenship likely an unreliable indicator of terrorist threat to the United States. And citizens of the seven countries are rarely implicated in U.S. based terrorism. I will never, ever apologize for protecting the safety and security of the American people. I won't do it. But the White House dismissed that document as incomplete. Officials said a comprehensive report is coming that will be driven by data and intelligence and not politics. The president himself went after FBI leaks on Twitter. The FBI is totally unable to stop the national security leakers. Classified information is being given to media. We are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. As the president once again lashed out at his favorite target, the media, the White House defended Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, saying he did nothing improper when he asked the FBI to publicly discredit a damaging New York Times story after the bureau told him privately it was inaccurate. The story alleged Trump campaign officials had contact with Russian intelligence. They've assured me that that New York Times story was grossly overstated and inaccurate and totally wrong. Top Democrats jumped to accuse the White House Chief of Staff of attempting to pressure the FBI, calling it an outrageous breach. A senior law enforcement source said FBI officials also did not consider any lines to have been crossed. The Washington Post, citing U.S. officials, reports the White House sought to enlist members of Congress, including the heads of the Senate and House Intelligence Committees, to knock down the Russia stories when the FBI would not. Another distraction over media coverage. The president decried the use of unnamed sources. They shouldn't be allowed to use sources unless they use somebody's name. Never mind that before he was president, Mr. Trump cited an extremely credible source on Twitter in 2012 to make false claims about Barack Obama's birth certificate. And the president's own White House routinely asks reporters not to use the names of officials uh, on the record, but to use information and simply quote, senior administration officials or White House officials. So that goes against the president's own request. And another example of the tension between the White House and the press, uh, Sean Spicer, the press secretary, had an invite-only briefing that was on the record but excluded a number of news organizations that routinely cover the White House, including CNN and The New York Times. Craig? Mm -hmm. Kelly O'Donnell for us there at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue this morning. Kelly O, thanks. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.